morning YouTube. As you can see, it is the day I need to clean my tank. Uh, it looks like my Coraline skimmer is really starting to uh, skim a lot of junk out of my tank. I'm still trying to dial it in correctly. This is uh, probably the first week that it's been this dark. Uh, normally it's a lighter green junk. So I don't know if I got to move my dial up higher or anything to uh, actually fill it more. But I'm still testing around with that. Uh, we'll also be cleaning my filter sock. That's getting a little gross as is. And that's mainly due to me trying to get all this brown algae out. Um, I started, as you said last week, turning my lights on. Um, and that caused an outbreak of this that brown algae. So I'm trying to uh, combat that. I have a couple crabs in there. I got a two emerald crabs. I got a uh, red crab. And I also have a turbo snail which is right there. And I also have a couple other snails in there where I'm not sure where they are right now. They're probably under the sand or something. Uh, did notice some, one of the creatures did kick up some sand here. Uh, I don't know if that was a crab or uh, one of the snails I have, but that's my update for today on the uh, excuse me on the 54 gallon tank. Um, everything's been going good with it. I'm down to uh, two chromies. I'm hoping to pick up some more when I uh, get the brown algae taken care of. And I still have my two blue t uh, yellow tailed damsels. They're uh, doing pretty well in this tank. Thank you, and have a good day. All right, guys. To continue off of my last clip, I do weekly maintenance on both of my tanks. So here's my 36 gallon. Um, every other week, I'll do a water change on a tank. So this week, it's actually a water change for this tank, which I'll be making pretty soon today and doing that. Then I also test the levels with the API uh, test kits for both tanks. And I will also be using my brand new refractometer uh, for the first time this week. So uh, we'll see how my salinity has been. I've been using the hydro meters since I started and uh, I just picked up the refractometer just recently. So hopefully uh, my salinity is not way off and that it's pretty close. Thank you. Well, here's the start of my maintenance. Uh, making a five gallon bucket of water, our RO water. So there's my bucket for salt, my mixing roller. As you can see, I hijacked the bathroom. And so, so that's step one is to make water. Then I'll be testing the levels and the salinity of my uh, tanks why water is being made. All right, see you guys in a little bit. Okay, guys, my water seems to be done. Um, I have learned that the eleven mark on this uh, yardstick actually uh, and four cups of inches ocean salt gives me perfect salinity for my tank so that's why I try to aim for this every time now again I was using the hydro meter on that so um, let's see what the f reflectometer gives me uh, I do still have everything hooked up so if I need to add more water I'm allowed, I can do that easily without flushing everything and rehooking everything up. Uh, so, here we go. And like I said, I use an inch, instant ocean salt mix for now um, to this is gone. And then I took Willie D's uh, suggestion and what, I picked up a bag of instant ocean reef crystals. Um, apparently, that has better calcium in it than the regular instant ocean and hopefully that'll be good for bringing up my calcium 
and everything that I need for my uh, reef tank that I'm still cycling, still trying to get clean and everything. Uh, but I think the Inside Ocean right now is good for my 36 gallon fish only tank. Hey guys, this is uh, the tools I'll be using to test my water. As you can see, I use an API Reef Master Test Kit, a API Saltwater Master Test Kit. This will be my first time using my refractometer. And it'll be the first time I'm using one of these droppers. Um, I used to dip the test tubes into the water and try to get at the five milliliter line. I'm gonna see if I can have better luck using the little dropper to fill it up. Thank you and uh, keep tuned. All right guys, I wish I did have a lab like a farm for reef, but uh, fortunately I have to do all my testing and stuff on a kitchen table. So make sure I keep the area nice and clean so my family do eat here and everything. So the first thing I gotta do is actually read the directions of how to use this refractometer. Make sure I keep it accurate and all that stuff. And then uh, I did use the dropper for the test tube water and it was much easier and much cleaner than dipping the test tubes in the water. I didn't have uh, the drips on my tank like I normally do when I'm trying to get the water in the test tube at five milliliters. So I do recommend that for anyone who might be doing this is Maybe use a dropper or something. It's much cleaner, much easier that way. Um, and then I'll show you guys the results after I'm done following the directions and then uh, doing the test. Um, I kind of know the reef and the salt water test by heart. I've been doing this uh, every weekend on Saturday, so I've done this for almost for a year now. So I got, got those directions down. It's more the refractometer I gotta learn about now. Okay guys, did test for uh, my 36 gallon water. As you can see the pH seems alright. Uh, I say that's uh, 8.0. My uh, ammonia is zero. My nitrite is zero. My nitrate is uh, a little high. I would say that's about 40. Uh, my calcium, as you can see, it's breaking up in there, but uh, it came out at 360 um, then my carbon hardness is 11 my phy uh, phosphorate is at point uh, point five I have it so you wonder okay we tested our water we find the results but how do we compare it to like our last test on that stuff so what I've been doing is I have a uh, raspberry pi project I'm working on you can see here uh, right now it's a simple website uh, web server running on my Pi that I'm gonna hopefully add more functionality to when I get to it but right now I just enter the numbers into a little uh, MySQL database and it'll calculate per week what my results are I can graph it over time as I get that functionality in there um, you probably see a lot of uh, weird numbers in there right now that's uh, me messing around with the database and trying to get the right results in where they need to be um, so I'm doing pretty good on my numbers I think uh, like I said my nitrite uh, trites and um, or traits and my uh, phosphates are a little high so I'm gonna look into how to resolve them my calcium is a little low um, but I believe when I do my water change today that will raise that up uh, so I should be fine there Thank you. So you guys from my last week test, um, you can see my pH drop 0.2. Uh, my other results are basically on par. My calcium did drop and my uh, carbon, uh, hardness dropped. And my uh, phosphates actually did drop because it was, it was 0.1. Uh, and it's now 0.5, so my phosphates are coming down um, from last week. As you see, anytime I do work on my either tanks, 
I always make sure I put a towel down. I actually have a old towel I use, I just use for my fish equipment. This way, any water spills and any of that stuff goes right on the towel and not on the rug. Um, I was using, I've been using an old air hose as my siphon. I'll fill it up to the 11 mark on the yardstick as my dirty water. But I think I'm going to try a little trick I've seen on some people's videos where they mark their tank at their line. So I put some electrical tape on the glass there in the back. And I'm going to try to use my old uh, siphon I have that attached to the sink and uh, suck it out uh, for next water change. Because uh, I think I need to start getting more down into the bed of the crushed coral and clean some of that stuff up. Um, usually what I'll do is take one of these brushes um, and kick it up, move around the crushed coral, kick up the stuff. But I think I might use a vacuum this time and get some of the bigger stuff out. Um, the fish seem to be doing great. As you can see there's a flame angel. He's getting big. I love the colors. The clowns. Right there. They're both getting pretty big. So they're doing good. I love those fish. And I'm really proud of this tank. I'm glad I want salt water. And uh, so I'll add this bucket of salt mixture to it to bring it back up to the normal level. And then I don't know if you guys see this or not, but one last step I do is I take these glass wipes and I'll wipe down my glass and my equipment. I'll hit the hoses, the the lid, the light, the glass, the sand, all that stuff. I just do a nice little cleaning so that it's all clean for next week. All right, guys. Um, that's what I do for my weekly cleaning. I know this video is probably longer than normal videos I've done, but uh, I felt that you guys should see what I do. Comment. Let me know if I'm really way off base. I should be doing something different. Um, and all that stuff. You guys seem to be in the hobby. Know what you're doing. I don't even have any corals yet. I've been thinking of putting some corals in this tank. Uh, some GSPs, but I'm not positive on that. Um, I really don't want to change the light, but um, after talking with uh, Reefer James and uh, listening to his comment and uh, following some other things and actually using my own brain, I might be changing the light schedule. Um, for a while, I was uh, doing 24 hours. I would do 12 hours of the white, 12 hours of blue. And yes, I know that's not good, um, but that's what I've been doing from day one when I got this light, which was years ago, back on fresh water. I never had a huge outbreak of allergy, so I kind of just kept going with it. Because at that time, I was under the impression that uh, the moonlight was giving the darkness. The blue lights, which mimic moon, uh, was getting plenty of darkness for the fish. But um, I think I'm going to go to the harbor store and something today and pick up a uh, timer and actually start. Uh, slow with moving that schedule out. I think I'm gonna eat this week maybe set up that the lights off for a half hour at night and then slowly build it up so that for maybe a couple hours at night from like 10 p.m. till about maybe uh, give it a take or uh, 5 a.m. be completely off and then have it turn on at that time around 5 a.m. it's the time I get up uh, like I said, I do listen to you guys. I do take comments. Uh, may not go right away and do some of these changes. I do some research on my own. I use do uh, also got to wait until I have money to do things. Um, as you all know, this is an expensive hobby, and uh, sometimes you can't just go on drop a dime and go uh, changing your whole system or buying new lights or anything. Now. That's how I do my cleanings. I do a tank a week, uh, so I, they're on every other week schedule. I do test my water for both tanks every week. I log them every week. I do clean the glass every week, but 10% water changes every other week. Um, so that's how it is. I'm not going to show you guys my 54 gallon yet. Uh, 
because that really needs a lot of cleaning. 